What's going on everybody? It is September 5th. I just wanted to make a quick video and uh, show y'all what gear I carry in the woods for when I'm going dove hunting. Uh, I've seen a lot of people making videos about them and whatnot. So I say, you know what? I'll make mine, show everybody, you know, what I bring to the woods. Whether you're an avid dove hunter, new dove hunter, just wanting to get into it, somebody that did it for a long time, just getting back into it. However you are just watching this video, uh, this is my, I want to say it's about my eighth season, eighth or ninth season dove hunting. And uh, I have progressed very far from my first season. So without wasting too much time, I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to show you all the decoys I use, the gun I use, the ammo I use, and any other miscellaneous gear that I carry into the dove field with me. Hopefully help you all along the way and help you all bag some more birds. Let's get into it. All right, let's talk about decoys. This right here, my favorite. Y'all know how they work? Just a regular motion decoy, the wings spin on it. The reason I'm not turning it on is because the battery box inside, I broke it after last dove season. So I got another one coming, I just don't have it yet. But uh, you know how they work, the wings spin when you turn it on. If I had to choose all decoys, right here would be the one I keep out of all. It will bring birds in from a far ways and they just, they just come right in. I mean, it'd be like ducks trying to light on depot. I mean, it's an awesome thing. I love it. These dove decoys right here, ground decoys. I like these because they are very light color and they're a little bit bigger body. And obviously they're just sticking up upright. I feel like, this is my thought, but it makes sense that doves see them a lot farther distance. When they spot that flashing, they see them, and I'm sure they see these other ones here, because I have more. These right here. You can use these for ground decoys, or it's got a little clip on them. Put on tree limb, put on bob wire. Have these right here. Another standard old ground decoys, a little bit darker color. This right here is a little improvising that I did. I don't know if you can see that there. That wire in the butt of this thing. This is the original hole up here. And it's supposed to be just a feeder decoy. Well, I stuck this right in. I heated the wire up and actually melted it into the decoy right between the legs there. So that way, instead of all my decoys sitting like this feeding, I can have some that are sitting upright. It's just another position to have all your decoys make it look that much more lifelike. I have a total of eight of those decoys. And that's not including the three of the lighter colored, bigger ones. This here, good old foam decoy. I actually found this on the side of the road. You just right in the tail end, blow it up. It's old, it don't blow up very good, but it's a good decoy, just something. Like I said, found it on the side of the road, so it's thrown in there. All right. Next, weapon of choice, 12 gauge, model 870. My first shotgun I ever had, or ever gotten. Uh, I've killed turkeys with this, doves, ducks, squirrels. I don't think I've killed any rabbits with it. I'm more of a 22 with rabbits, but great shotgun. Throw up real good. I love it. I use modified choke for doves and full choke for ducks. I know we're talking doves, but modified for doves, my favorite. I've tried open bore. I don't really care for it much. I really don't care for open bore for anything. I mean, it's just, unless you're shooting 20 yards or less, and even then, I just, I do not like open bores at all. I like modified or full, uh, which is actually the only chokes that I've used and never tried to prove modified or um, proof cylinder or anything like that. But anyhow, 12 gauge. You can use 20 gauge, 28 gauge, 16 gauge. You can use 10 gauge if you want to, but I like eating my dub. 12 gauge, my weapon of choice. All right, now ammo. I like using number eight shot. This one I have here, not advertising. This is Remington Sure Shot Heavy Dub Load Ammunition. It's in, uh, like I said, number eight shot. That's what I prefer. I've tried seven and a half. 
Mm. I mean, I like both seven half or eight. I mean, I just, I like eight. That's why I kill more birch, but that's what I use. But when eight's not there, I get seven and a half and use that. I've heard some people using six before. I wouldn't recommend it myself. I mean, you can if you want, that's up to you, but I feel like six would just do a little bit too much damage on them and be a little bit harder to hit. But uh, anyhow, number eight shot is what I prefer. And uh, really don't matter what brand you use. It doesn't have to be you know, specified as dub loads. You can use it, you, uh, target loads, skeet loads, it don't matter. As long as it's seven and a half or eight shot, you're perfectly fine. And uh, yeah, my preferred number eight shot. All right, well, that's about it for this video. I mean, the only thing else that I bring that's kind of miscellaneous besides bottled water, snacks, is fold up chair and a five gallon bucket to sit on. Uh, you know, I mean, I've seen guys that wear these vests, they got all these pockets on them, got the back pockets filled with doves in, which is perfectly fine. I got one in my closet. I've used it many times. I just, here lately, this past two seasons, I really just haven't used it that much because just sitting on my bucket, I'll just throw the doves right there by me. I mean, the only thing you got to watch for is make sure the ants during the early season, when it's still warm out, the ants don't get on them. But other than that, there ain't no problem with it, but that's just all personal preference there. I just don't use mine. I just carry my box of gels, got my chair, got my bag with my decoys, and my shotgun. I'm good to go. I am one of the guys that I've, uh, from around here, that I've noticed carry about the most decoys. I mean, I never thought it was much. It's just a dozen decoys. Um, it's 11 ground decoys and one motion decoy. I had two motion decoys, but the other one had gotten broke and just no good at all anymore but uh so i just got that one now but i do plan on getting another one so that'd be 13 with two motion decoys and uh yeah i hope this video gave y'all some ideas and something maybe to carry along with you whether it's more decoys or less stuff you know whatever i mean everybody's got their own preference this is me just showing y'all what i carry with me and uh hope y'all enjoyed it and hopefully i'll be bringing y'all plenty of shooting action this season I'm gonna try to get you some dove hunts on film. I ain't ever tried filming uh, dove hunts, but I'm gonna give it a shot this year and see see how it works out. So hopefully y'all be seeing some videos of that. So yeah, if y'all have any requests for any types of videos or anything like that, just shoot me a message in the comment box. Let me know. And uh, if it's reasonable, I'll give my best shot to try to get it on film for you and publish it for you and everybody else to see. So, all right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It is much appreciated. Thank y'all. Just so y'all can see, this is my bag. Got all my decoys in there. Got handles on it. It's got a arm strap. Oh yeah, that's it. And one thing I did forget, don't know how I did, but this precious little thing right here, this is Miss Ellie my little baby girl here don't know how i forgot to add her in there she'd probably be mad at me if she knew that but yep that's my bird dog something else to add to you